Hello everybody, I'm uh, Mathis Cordier, I'm study engineer here for the Laris in Angers. Um, I'm going to show you a little introduction to the, the annotation tools label me and site of mine. Um, those are two softwares for the for the annotation of images. Um, first, I'm, I'm going to talk about LabelMe. Uh, LabelMe is developed by the MIT uh, laboratory, so Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. Um, at the beginning, it was an online soft software, and now it is um, provided as a Python package. Uh, so you you can launch it locally. Um, you can annotate image and videos, and uh, the advantage of LabelMe uh, it is that it works it works uh, on every operating system. Um, so uh, for the installation of LabelMe, so you have a GitHub a GitHub repository. Uh, of it, and you can uh, install it uh, with um, both GitHub, pip, and Anaconda for Python. Uh, it depends on how you you deploy the Python on your machine, and you can also use Docker. Uh, I'm going to show you a little de demonstration of uh, LabelMe. Okay, so let's go for the demo. Um, you launch uh, LabelMe uh, as a as a command in the shell. So the first step is to open uh, the image you want to annotate. So here we have some some plants uh, on top view. Uh, you can adjust brightness or contrast to to better see uh, the scene. Uh, here we can just augment uh, the contrast, and you can also draw polygons. So here we have draw a polygon corresponding to the background and we can do it twice so here it is also for the background so you the tag you 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 want to input uh, here it is background here it will be soil uh, it is uh, the la the label of your annotation so here it is soil uh, for a second time and now we want to annotate uh, the leaves of the plants so you can put leaves and here also put leaves. Okay, so when you do that, you can zoom or uh, uh, dezoom, or you find you you can uh, adjust the shape of the the image, and you can also hide or show uh, some labels. So you can save your annotations as a JSON and. Uh, if we open it. We have the JSON with all um, the the polygons characteristics, all, and uh, for each uh, polygon, you have the label, uh, the, the and all the points defining the polygon. Okay, so uh, when you when you do do that, you can also uh, edit your polygons uh, and save it again or as you want. So the conclusion for the software LabelMe, uh, we have a lot of advantages. Uh, it is very easy to deploy. You just need the uh, Python. Uh, it is uh, very useful for uh, fast annotations uh, of, um, of images. Um, also, uh, it is very uh, important. You can uh, access the Python code. And I don't know if you want to to modify some codes of the library. You can. You have the you have the access on it. Um, it is also very light lightweight, so uh, you don't need a, a very big storage to have it. And uh, the, also very important, it is a free software. Uh, you also have some drawbacks. Um, you can deploy it only locally, so you can just uh, have it on your machine and uh, and uh, launch it on it. Um, also, it requ it uh, require Docker or Python, and uh, I think the main drawback uh, is that you can only draw polygon, so you don't have shapes uh, as lines, points, uh, or something like that. 
to to resume uh, those uh, those points. Uh, I think label me is perfect for quick and e individual annotations. So let's go for the Cytomine. So Cytomine is uh, developed um, by the Cytomine company uh, in collaboration with the University of Liège in Belgium. Um, so uh, it is a, um, a collaborative uh, development on GitHub. So you can uh, you can participate to, to that collaboration uh, if you ask uh, uh, the the engineers. Um, also, it can be deployed locally or as a server for multiple annotators. So it is the very very useful point of Cytoman with uh, the, the supporting of uh, megapixel, multi uh, gigapixel sorry, images. So you can have very big resolutions of images and you can have multiple annotators. Uh, also, you have the possibility to integrate algorithms uh, directly on the, on the interface. And also, it works on every operating system supporting Docker. So every uh, operating uh, system, uh, uh, actually. Uh, for the installation of Cytomine, it is, uh, it is much harder than LabelMe. Uh, you also have a GitHub repository uh, in the link uh, here, and you also have the documentation. You have an installation gui guide because you can uh, install it for a local use or for a server configuration. And um, it is uh, quite different, and um, you can have some issues uh, during the installation because it is uh, qu quite uh, much harder than LabelMe, and it, it uses sorry uh, Docker. So for the system summary, so you put your images into the Cytomine storage. So it is at, on the left of the of the figure. Um, each annotator of the linked project can annotate it, um, and then. You can use algorithms on it and check the results. So here you have like a cycle uh, because you can check and correct if you want and um, and apply again the algorithms. So it is very efficient. Um, now uh, we have uh, an example of uh, high resolution image with uh, its annotation at the bottom. So each color. Um, correspond to uh, a label and uh, we have uh, the layer of the labels labels the mask and you also have the original image um, you can use custom algorithms uh, here we have an example of custom algorithm where you decide what image to process uh, so it is here and all the parameters uh, for a detection of region of interest. So ROI here, it is a term to predict. So here uh, it is a fresh thing with uh, the OTSU uh, filter, etc. You can, you can use uh, some parameters. Okay, so let's go for the demonstration of Satomine. Okay, so here you have the interface of uh, Cytomine, which is uh, hosted in the browser. So you have the project test here. It is a it is a test project, and we we added an, uh, into it uh, four images. So LP two to LP five uh, PNG images. So uh, we can see that we have one manual annotation for uh, LP LP two. And um, we can uh, show it in the annotations panel. Um, we can also uh, show uh, the activity of all the annotators, all, all the annotators, sorry, um, uh, which are uh, concerned uh, on the project. And uh, you have all the activity uh, with date times. Uh, uh, some statistics uh, about the annotations. You also have the metadata for the project. So here it is test. We have four images, etc., etc. 
So um, we can also show um, the storage folder. So here on all um, the storage folder we have the four images of the project test. In ontologies you also have some tags which I added previously. So we have background, leaves and soil. It's the same labels as uh, label me and also the same um, the same images. So you have some algorithms provided uh, by default by Cytomine to uh, treat your images. So on LP5 you you already sorry have one image annotated. So you can zoom the zoom. Um, and so uh, with that software you can adjust uh, brightness, contrast, uh, saturation or, or hue of the image to better uh, see um, the, the pixels uh, of the images. Uh, also you have uh, a lot of shapes uh, to annotate. Here it is a line uh, for annotate, uh, to annotate sorry, the background. Uh, and you have all the metadata for uh, just uh, that annotation. So we also have uh, the length of uh, the annotation, etc. Um, we can also annotate uh, the leaves uh, with a line also. We also can, can draw polygons uh, as in uh, label me. So uh, here we just make a different annotation. Uh, here we annotate the soil. So we have one, ad one annotation uh, by Perl label um, here. And we can also draw uh, field polygons. So here for the leaves. So you, we can also do it second time. Okay, so it's very easy to annotate, uh, very quick. You just press uh, the left click and stay um, stay uh, pushed and draw it. So you have all the tools on the top left right uh, top left hand corner sorry and you uh, you have all your annotations uh, here in the annotation panel. You can also modify it and you can also download it as CSV um, Excel or PDF file. Here we have the PDF file. So I'm the admin user, etc. You can see uh, all the metadata corresponding to uh, your annotations, and you can uh, download it as a, a CSV or uh, or tables. Okay, so that was all for the demonstration of Cytomine. Now uh, I can show you a small demonstration of the admin part of Cytomine if you want to deploy it as a server. Okay, so let's go for just a little demonstration of the admin session of uh, Cytomine because we we install it as a server. So you can here um, manage all the users' accounts. Um, you can uh, set up uh, the name, uh, the names, uh, the, e the email addresses, the passwords, etc. Logins. You also can define what is uh, confidence sources. So here it is Docker because we installed it with Docker. You can also manage uh, the tags you want to use for your projects. So here we are leaves, soils, soil, sorry, and background. We can add um, a fake uh, label tag for test, and we can also. Um, uh, set up the configuration of uh, the welcome message when you when you enter the interface, and you can uh, close the administration session to uh, come back to the login screen. So uh, to conclude on site of mine, I think there are many many advantages. It is a very complete annotation tool. Um, 
you can integrate uh, all the algorithms you want uh, and you can uh, set up active learning on your images it is also a free software um, and uh, you can um, uh, you can use uh, it for very heavy images you also have the possibility to manage projects uh, with collaborators because uh, you can deploy it as a server for the drawbacks, um, also for Cytomine, you require to have Docker on your machine. Um, I found it very hard to deploy. Um, uh, it is uh, system, uh, sorry, a Docker image, but it is very very hard. You have to to modify some configuration of your machine uh, to support it. And also, uh, it is very, very heavy and uh, requires a lot of uh, memory. Um, so, uh, it was for the drawbacks. To resume all the, those points, uh, I think Cytomine is perfect for complex and collaborative annotations. To have a little comparison to conclude all uh, the talk, I think you should prefer uh, label me to quickly annotate some images on your machine and I think you should prefer Cytomine to manage uh, an annotation campaign with multiple remote users and EV images. Okay, so that was all for my presentation. Uh, I thank you all for your listening and hope uh, you'll, you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. <laughs>